What's up everyone, George Lehman here with MuscleMasochist.com I want to make a different type of video for you guys today It's, it's kind of rambling really But um, kind of a pet peeve of mine And uh, it got brought up today by a former client That had you know messaged me on Facebook or responded on Facebook um, As you guys know, I work as an online coach As you guys know, nowadays there's you know a million online coaches If you go on Facebook Everyone who works out is an online coach, and they have an online coaching business. So, um, obviously everyone does it differently. Myself, uh, I, I have a YouTube channel, so a lot of people see that I do online coaching, and a lot of people want to work with me, obviously. Um, because of that, I try and charge very little. I charge, you know, like $60 a month or $65 a month or something like that so that I can work with the people that watch my videos. I, you know, a lot of people will charge $50 an hour, $100 an hour to train you in person, and the workouts are usually garbage. I charge basically what most people charge per hour. I do it for a fucking month. Um, I do that, like I said, so I can work with a lot of people, and I want to work with a lot of people because I, I like seeing a lot of people make a lot of progress. I, I want to like be able to share what I do with a lot of people rather than charge people three or four or five or ten times as much. Some people charge thousands of dollars to work with you online for a few months. And like I said, some people charge 50, 100, 200, 300, 400 an hour to work with you in person, depending on who they are. Um, however, I had a client today uh, a former client, mind you, not working with him right now, who messaged on Facebook, he responded to uh, something I said on Facebook saying, you know, I, I signed up with you, I got, you know, results, I got stronger on all three lifts, but after I got the program, after I got the diet, after you answered some questions for me, whatever it was, I, I helped him with form or, you know, mobility, he had some questions about his training or diet or something like that, and I answered them for him. But his complaint was is that afterwards, I didn't email him. Now, here's the thing. I ask clients, if you work with me for future record, I ask you to email me updates on how you're doing. Every week, write out your training, tell me how you're doing with your diet, let me know if a certain exercise is hurting, or, you know, if you have some sort of injury, or if your schedule is going to change, or if you change your goals, or if you want to use a different supplement, I need to know these kind of things so I can work with you. And his complaint was, is that I should have contacted him to find that out. Okay. If you aren't willing to email me when you need advice, if you aren't willing to email me when you need a different program or a program change or want to ask about changing an exercise or you want to uh, change your diet to cutting instead of bulking or you want to recomp or you want to you know, change whatever drug cycle you're using or supplements you're using, if you're not willing to email me for that, don't sign up. Don't sign up. Okay? I need you to work with me. <laughs> I need you to be willing to contact me. I work with a lot of normal people. I also work with some incredibly strong people, some very big people, some very lean people. I work with some people that are just fucking phenomenal. But I work with a lot of normal everyday people. I work with a lot of complete beginners. I work with a wide range of people. And one of the things that I don't like doing is putting people down. I don't want to email someone every day going, you know, did you do the workout? Did you, did you follow what I told you to do? These, the workouts are hard. The diets are hard. They don't come natural to people. It's, it's not always easy for a normal person to stick to a diet and a workout plan. Sometimes they miss a workout. Sometimes they don't eat right. Sometimes they have to go away on work for a week to fucking China or something and they can't get to a gym that has the same equipment they need. I'm not the kind of person that's going to come and hassle you and bother you and tell you that, oh, you know, you're failing yourself because you didn't do this set or you didn't do this exercise or, 
you know, oh, you ate wrong? Well, like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You know what I mean? No. I understand it's not always easy. I understand that sometimes you can't always train, or you're too tired after working some kind of manual labor job or being on your feet or something for eight hours. Life isn't always easy for people. So what I like to do is allow people to contact me. Always encouraging, always willing to help, always willing to change whatever needs to be changed or, you know, look at form or, you know, whatever you need. That's what I'm here for. That's what I do. However, you have to contact me. Email me. Let me know how to help. Let me know what you need so that I can use whatever expertise I have on whatever subject to help you. Um, it's, I wanted to make a video about it because I've, I've never had anyone complain about that. Um, I've never had anyone tell me that it was too much work to, to contact me. So I, I wanted to make it very clear, if you don't want to email me, don't sign up with me. You have to contact me if you want my help. If you want to work with me, we need to be able to communicate. And I'm not going to bother you all the time making sure that you're doing it right. I'm not going to bother you all the time making sure that you didn't fuck up on your diet yesterday or fuck up on your training. Um, one, one of my pet peeves about uh, personal trainers and especially online personal trainers, a lot of trainers don't have very many clients and they charge much more money than me. Like I said, they charge an hour, I charge a month. You see what I'm saying? So they don't have very many clients because not many people want to pay them. And their goal is to keep every client they get for as long as possible. If they could sign you up for life, they would. My goal is to teach people what I do and allow them to continue doing it on their own. The programs that I write, many times people sign up, they continue to follow the program and diet once their coaching is over. You don't have to stay consistently paying me every month like these coaches want. Um, I've noticed a lot of coaches, uh, a lot of trainers in person, they'll, you know, always Facebook you, they'll always call you, they'll text you. They're, you know, every day they're asking, you know, how did, how did it go? Like, what happened? You know, blah, 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 blah. Some of them are doing it because they're genuinely interested in helping you. Okay, I think it's a little bit overbearing. That's just me. However, many of them are doing it to create some sort of bond that makes it so you'll want to keep hiring them. Okay? I've, I've seen personal trainers, and especially online, I've seen trainers get very upset whenever their client doesn't renew. Because they've been talking to them all the time, and now their coaching time is up, and, and they, they don't renew. So they're, they're upset about it. It shouldn't be that way. People should hire you, in my opinion, for results. They should hire you because they want to get bigger and stronger or leaner or whatever the goal is. It shouldn't be based around, I feel the need to pay this person because they always talk to me. I feel the need to sign up again with them because now we're friends because they email me every day. That's, that's bullshit. I don't like that. It doesn't, um, it doesn't work for me to do that. Um, I want people to contact me when they want to contact me. When you need help, I want to give you help then. I don't want to hassle you and make sure you're doing it right because I'm already going to tell you what to do. I'm going to tell you how to train. I'm going to help you with your form. I'm going to help you with your diet. I'm going to tell you what to eat. If you need any changes to your program, I'm going to give you them. If you need any changes to your diet, I'm going to give you them. If you need any changes to your supplements or whatever it is you're doing, you can get that from me. But I'm not going to bother you. I'm not going to email you all the time to make sure that you're not fucking up. Because it's up to you to do this stuff. And if you're not doing it, I'm not going to put you down. I'm not going to go, oh yeah, you know, you're failing yourself. You know, you're, you know pathetic work ethic. Uh, you know, oh, you ate pizza last night? Like, way to go nice diet, you know what I mean, like some shit like that. That's not what I do. I help people achieve their goals through giving them the resources they need, the knowledge they need to do it. Okay? 
All that requires is to contact me. I'm not going to contact you, bothering you, telling you you suck if you don't follow the diet, if you don't follow the training. Some people don't view it as being bothered. I've done this. I, in the past, when I didn't work with as many people, I would email, you know, clients, how are you doing, you know, what's, what's your progress like? Typically, for normal people, the answer is, oh, well, you know, I, you know, kind of fell off training the last week or two, I haven't really been eating right, you know, I'm, I'm about to get back on track kind of thing. What, what did that just do for me or them? Nothing. I, I made someone admit that they didn't follow the diet properly. I made someone admit that they didn't follow the workout properly. I don't, I don't want to make people do that. If you want to follow the program and diet, by all means, I hope you do because you're going to get good results. But if, if you're not, I'm, I'm not the type of person that's going to tell you you suck. I know it's hard. It's not easy for people to stick to a specific diet or to stick to a specific training regimen. So I just wanted to make that video explaining exactly what I do and how I do it. Um, I ask clients for weekly updates. I don't require them, but to get to give you the best results possible, I should be seeing what you're doing. I need you to write out your workouts for me. Give me notes. It, you know, did your knee hurt when doing a certain exercise? You know, do we have to take outside laterals because you have shoulder impingement? Like. There's things like this I need to know on a regular basis in order to help. And again, if you're not willing to contact me, don't sign up. Just get a program and a diet. And the, the funny thing about that is, is I charge $150 for a program and diet. $150. That to me is a lot of money. It's a lot of money to pay someone $150 for a program and a diet. Do some people charge hundreds or thousands? Yes. Some people will charge you hundreds or thousands of dollars for a program and diet. To me, I don't want to charge the people that watch my videos that. I would rather be able to work with more people, give them a better price, etc. So I charge $150 for a program and diet, but for $200, I'll work with you for three months. Does that make sense? I'll work with you on your training, your diet, your drugs, your supplements, your mobility, your form, questions you have for three months. So I charge $50 for all that other shit. And that includes changes to your program, new programs if you change your goals, new diets, etc. I charge an extra $50 for that because I don't want to charge people a lot of money. I hate seeing personal trainers take people through shitty workouts for $50 an hour. I work with people for three months for $50 on top of the program and diet fee. Okay? So I work with a lot of people because of that, because people know it's a good deal compared to basically anything else. And also because of that, because I work with a lot of people, I can't be bothering you all the time. I can't email all of my clients every day and go, hey, are you following your right or did you fuck up? No, I can't do that. I need you to email me so that I can help you. I need you to tell me how you're doing. I need you to, did you hurt your back doing something at work? Tell me so that we can take out the back training and do pull downs instead of deadlifts for a while or something like that so that we can work around your injury or work around your schedule or whatever. Uh, like I said, a rambling video. I just, that's the first time I've ever had anyone complain about that. Uh, I've never had someone tell me that they shouldn't have to email me. If you sign up with me, email me. Talk to me. Get help from me so I can do things for you. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out MuscleMascus.com for approved products, apparel, online coaching, and stuff like that. And stay tuned for more.